Okay, folks, 323 yards, Cleveland XL. We're just going to see how far we can get it out there, right? Because some people say this is not a powerful swing. Dr. Blade, there's no way you're getting those distances, you know, even though they see me hitting the ball, they see me on the course vlogs. Dr. Blade, there's no way you're hitting the ball swinging it that easy, swinging that, that smooth. And I say, hey, what about Freddie Couples, Ernie Els, all your top players that swing at 75 to 80 percent and getting really good distance? Because why, where does distance come from? Distance comes from being an efficient ball striker and learning where to create your speed. Your speed and your power should be created out front and you should finish strong. And the more efficient ball striker you become, the more distance you're going to get because you're putting less side spin on the ball. I even hit the ground before the ball, but I'm still going to show you how powerful the swing is because I still created my power out front. Alrighty, so here we go. Five yards to the pin. Alrighty. Come over here. So I got 45 yards. I'm just gonna take a little flip wedge. Okay, let's go up here and check it out. That was about a, um, a half wedge for me. Not even a half wedge. You saw the swing. You know I'm saying this is how close we were to the green. I'm telling you, literally, it was 45, 44, 45 yards away. All right. And there go the ball sitting right up there for a nice chance at a birdie putt. All right. So the swing is a powerful swing, and the power comes from being efficient and creating speed out front and finishing strong. Birdie, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Dr. Blades Golf Workshop. Keep grinding. Dr. Blades Golf Workshop, 565 yards, par five. This baby is long. Way down there is the green. Way down there. So this is a three shot for most people. It's a three shot for me. So just hit the fairway because the rough is six to eight inches long, okay? folks I took it up over these trees right here but I think I got a break over it I, I saw it bouncing let's go I actually think I got a break on that yeah so 565 yards even for you know you know 30% of the professional players 
this is going to be a three shotter for them, you know. You know, only the longest hitters are going to get there in two hits, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just how it is. You know, um, and if they do get there, they're going to have a long iron in their hand because they're going to have still 230, 240 into the green, the longest of the longest. You know, this is a long hole and it's a slightly uphill hole, so it's a really good hole. But normally you got to hit the fairway. But like I said, I saw my ball bouncing and bounding. I think it's going to be on this left hand side of the fairway. But I'm just going to have to play it by ear and start looking for it right about now. And if it's in the rough, it's going to make this a three. There it go. Perfect shot. Look at that. I smoked that ball. That's right. That's what it's all about. And it's sitting up so the rough is not going to bother me. So what am I going to take? Okay. Let me break this hole down for you. You have water off to the right. So you look, it looks like you got a landing area over there, but you really don't. Okay, so you so you need to hit a draw back into the fairway or take it right up over this tree line into the fairway. And I think I'm gonna do that with a hybrid. I think that's gonna be my best shot. Take this hybrid and then um, just take it back over right about hit a little draw with it. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be more aggressive with this one. I'm going to take a hybrid, but it's going to be my two hybrid. And the only reason I'm doing this is because the ball is sitting up, like it's teed up. But you got to be careful because you can come underneath the rough and pop it up. All right. Come on, turn around, baby. Turn. Okay, we got a good break on that one, just like I want it. So I hit a laser out there. But like I said, when you play out on a rough, sometimes you think you got a perfect lie because the ball is sitting up, but it's sitting up precariously. And I'm telling you, even grounding your club can make that ball sink down into the rough. So don't ground your club. Hover it, hover it above the ball like Jack Nicholas used to always do. Take a nice swing, and the whole goal is just to make solid contact. Okay, so my third shot is a 150 marker. So I'm right about 100, 100 and, 109 yards out, okay? That's what I'm looking at, 109, 110 yards out over the bunker. Beautiful. I flighted that ball down to the first story window. Remember I told you about the trajectory control? Low, medium, high. So I just flighted that ball down and it's checked up really nice. So I think I got a chance for birdie up there, folks. One of the best feelings in the world is going to the green with your flat stick in your hand. This really is one of the best feelings in the world. Yeah, I can see the head of a ball sticking up right now. That was a perfect play on this hole. I said 565 yards, and it plays every bit of it. All right, that ball checked. I knew it was going to check up, though, because of the ball flight, the, um, the strike I put on the ball. Okay, folks, let's see. We can get out of here with another birdie, back-to-back -back birdies. one hey folks I got a floppy hat on for a reason I did a post on the effects of skin cancer for 
golfers on the golf course, go online and type in skin cancer uh, for golfers. And you're going to be amazed at what it does to your skin, your face, your arms. So hey, I always put on sunscreen and I'm wearing floppy hats now. I'm even thinking about getting those wick golf shirts that are long sleeve that take the sweat out of you because I'm telling you, if you're out here on the golf course, that sun is a beast, hey? Keep grinding, take care of yourself, leave your comments below and contact me at drbladesforlife at gmail.com. 179 yards, force carry, par three, last hole. Over here. Let's see if we can finish this off right here. Nice move, easy swing. And I'll show you the canal. It's called Verrett's Canal. It's on the West Bank and it's called Verrett's V E R R I T S Canal. And I'll take you over here and show you the force carry over the canal. There's so many balls in here from guys trying to play the ball too short. I mean, it's th this canal right here is full of balls. When the, when, the, when the weather's clear, when the water's clear, I come over here and get 50, 60 balls out. I put them in my shag bag. Yep. So, I mean, take enough club. You can't play from the canal. You can't play from the water. So take enough club. I went to the back of the green. It's a funny shaped green. The green is really narrow and long, lengthwise, not widthwise. So this green grabs a lot of people. It fools with a lot of people. There we go. Yeah, so this has been a nice three hole course vlog. I'm in the zone right now because I found the secret for myself. And I'm going to tell you what the secret is. The secret is building your golf swing. It's not one single thing. So don't believe everything people tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. The secret is building your golf swing. I found my secret. My secret was taking the time to build the core fundamentals, to start creating my speed out front and finishing strong with the Ted Rose finish and then having purposeful practice. That's the secret right there. It's not one single thing. It's not how you grip the club. It's not how you transition through the ball. The secret is building your golf swing. Wow. Oh, folks, I thought I got out of here with a birdie on another one. That's okay. Okay, folks, that's minus one for this three-hole course vlog. I'm really in the zone right now. Again, if you want to learn a swing that's going to, that's going to allow you to repeat your golf swing on all the courses you go to, no matter what the weather conditions is, contact drbladesforlife at gmail.com or 504-930-6190. If you want to help donate and help grow my page, you can send a small donation to PayPal at drbladesforlife at gmail.com, 504-930-6190. If you do a small donation, I'm also going to send you a copy of my ebook, The Premium Setup. Take care.